If you want to make it in this life, listen to what I'm about to tell you. If you do not know this every single day of your life, you will be frustrated, confused. Don't think humans are logical. And the more logical person you are, the more important this is because you're going to perceive people through the lens of your logic. I'm on my horse farm. Humans are like animals. If you ask scientists, they'll say we are animals. If you ask religious people, we're supposedly above the animal. Stop thinking that way. Above the animals in what way? <laughs> above the animals in what way? You think we're more logical than horses, cows, dogs, bacteria? No, you can predict all human behavior, for example, by one cognitive trigger, one bias, reward. We seek the most rewarding path for ourselves. No matter how sophisticated and wealthy and advanced and technologically sound we become, we still seek reward. Just like that tree, literally in my backyard, is 300 acres here. That tree seeks the sunlight. Simple reward. Simple reward. We move away from pain. The tree moves away from pain. Other trees attack underground using, they have a network, a fungal network. Trees attack each other and they move away from being attacked and they move towards the light, their reward. No different than humans. The reason you are confused with politics, with friendships, with romance, and the reason I've been confused and get frustrated is I'm still looking through the wrong lens. I'm seeing people as rational actors because society wants it to be that way. So they teach us from childhood, whether it be our atheistic parents or our religious parents teach us that humans are these semi-enlightened beings that occasionally make a mistake, but in general seek the right path. What? I want to go to those parents, <laughs> those adults, and say, what? You were an adult and you still were mind-tricked? I see no evidence of that. I also don't see the other extreme, the evidence that humans are horrible and all this. It's, this is a non-extremist video. So if you're an extremist, shut this one off because you're going to always gravitate to humans are enlightened. My religious friends, my Christian friends are like, what do you mean? God made us in, their, uh, in his image and we're greater than the animals and the beasts. No, really? Are you sure you're interpreting your Bible correctly? Are you sure that's what God said? And my atheist friends, once again, we reached the enlightened age, 15, 1600, the scientific age, the industrial age, and therefore humans have done such great things. Really? For every good thing humans have done has been offset by our mistakes. How do you make it and navigate this world? You see the world for what it really is. You're neither an optimist. You're neither a pessimist. You're a realist. And there's great joy and comfort in that. People go, no, 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 I, there's no joy in that. I want to believe. Forget belief. Try to find truth. Think how much happier you're going to be. I see, for example, there's a huge gender sex war on social media. Males versus females. It's really masculine men versus masculine female. Okay, that's actually what it is, but that's for another conversation. So what do humans do? Men perceive women as conniving gold diggers and women perceive men as, what's this new thing? Would you rather meet a bear in the woods than a man? That's, that's a serious question women are asking. Well, is that the right type of question? Is that the correct perception? Or are male and female, Republican and Democrat, just animals that are non-logical in the sense that they don't necessarily take the wise path. They take the path that just moves them towards simple cognitive triggers. Some people call them cognitive biases. I call them the 39 triggers. There's 39 main triggers that make humans do everything. And you can predict what your horses, your cows, and your best friend's going to do. You can predict what your horses and your cows and your best friend are going to do. So let me give you an example. My grandma used to say, Ty, he was born in Germany, by the way, in 1918. So old school during World War One. She'd go, Ty, I never forgave the Germans for what they did in World War II. She's like, we were such a civilized group. We should not have done what we've done. If I was talking to my grandma now, I don't like to correct my elders, but I would say, grandma, Germans were just animals like everybody else. Homo sapiens an animal species. Of course, they were doing what, they were subject to the 39 triggers, the cognitive biases that cause us to make bad decisions. The animal primitive instincts, they wanted reward and they moved away from pain and they were subject to listening to dominant authoritative leaders, just like happens in America today and just like happens in Brazil today and just like happens in Sweden. 
it rarely changes. I had a friend, he actually came to this farm and he, he was in his thirties and I was like blown away. And he was like, die, I'm angry at my father every day because when I was seven, he left me and my mother and he left my, me, an, you know, in a broken hole. And my mom was now a single mom to raise me. And he was in his thirties and he said, every day I wake up angry. So if you're watching this video is for you, what are you doing? Your dad was not a logical person. Forgive him. He knows not what he did. He reacted like a tree. He reacted like a cow. Something was going on. I don't know what was going on, but he thought there was more, re more reward there. And maybe it was painful to be with your mom. I don't know the situation. Now, people would say, well, he wasn't a real man. And uh, okay, don't judge a man until you walked in his shoes. You don't know what really happened. Forgive and forget, my brother. Give and forget. But if you come from the standpoint of humans are logical and they know exactly what they're doing, then you come to the place where, of course, you can't forgive your dad. But once you realize your dad just a finite being, as flawed as a tree, a plant, and an animal, you got a little more forgiveness. And that allows you to get through your life. I could be mad at society. I look at the societal structure of the United States. You've got horrible food system, horrible pr prison system, horrible justice system. You have a, an unfair education system where kids are not equipped with what they need to know. Uh, should I be mad at America? Or America is just ruled, governed by a bunch of people that aren't logical actors. The point of this video is the sooner you wake up to the fact that humans are not logical, the more it all makes sense. My mom is very in every conspiracy theory, you know, for the most part. Well, some conspiracy theories turn out to be true. Don't get me wrong. Not all of them, but some. And always the crux of the conspiracy theory is, you're not going to believe this. This politician did this and held this and tried to hide it. What? You, you, that's, you're really excited because you figured that out? You figured out that people who seek power are higher in dark triad traits, narcissism, Machiavellianism, and psychopathy, and maybe dark dyad like sadism? You didn't know that? That's been going on for a couple thousand years. You didn't know that that happens in other species too? You didn't know there's mean chimpanzees and mean gorillas and the one that seek power are generally lower in agreeableness and they beat other people, other chimpanzees and gorillas up to get where they are? You didn't know walruses did that? You didn't know elephant seals did that? You didn't know lions did that? You didn't know bacteria does that? Well, I got a rude wake up. This video may, if for some people it's the first day, of the real life today may be the first day of your real life where you realize oh i was told the rules of the game were this way everybody acting illogical but the actual rules of the game or we're animals and we act in animal ways we move towards what's the powerful cognitive tri triggers we move toward reward and it's called pacing the reward we start thinking of all the different rewards authority affects us somebody who speaks with authority whether it's a president a prime minister, a dictator, a general, a cult leader, a social media influencer, that we are tricked by those who have authority or authoritative tone of voices or manners and demeanors. The fourth is we're tricked by urgency. The fifth is we're tricked by novelty. Something's new. I got to get the new iPhone. Why? I don't even use all the features of the old one, but I'm going to spend my hard-earned money on a new one. Apple knows how to trick you too. And you go through, there's 39 of those. You don't think McDonald's tricks people? into eating food. You don't think Coca-Cola is a reward sugar. Sugar bypasses the blood brain barrier. Most things don't. Cocaine does, heroin does, and so does sugar. So if you go to an American, you know, I live half the time outside the U.S., half the time in the U.S. When I'm outside the U.S., I look at food ingredients. It's like, okay, soda, 20 grams of sugar. I, you go into America, 60 grams. The same bottle. It's illegal in Europe to put as much sugar as you do in America. Now, I don't know if it's best for government to regulate this, but I will tell you, America is destroying itself. It's feeding on itself because it doesn't understand what this video is about. The second you know that humans are not logical, you won't trust the food. You won't trust the label. Wait, a person who owns Coca-Cola is just trying to make money for their own selfish reward. Therefore, I have to pursue my own selfish reward and protect myself and my family. Nah, I'm not going to drink this. <laughs> I'm not going to listen to this. I think the algorithm on social media feed people what they already believe in. 
entertain, be, feed them their own, the political beliefs they already believe in, create a feedback loop, a more reward. Oh, okay. You hate Republicans? Okay. You're going to see more hate Republican content. So you spend more hours because it's the people who own social media, we can also predict they're not logical actors and they'll move towards their own reward, which may not be in your best interest. The second you start to think this way, by the way, it's not a negative worldview. It's not a pessimistic. In fact, I see it as an optimistic worldview. Once I know how the world works, I can optimistically move myself forward in a positive way. Okay, I know the rules of the game are people who make fast food are just trying to pursue their own self-interest and they care nothing about me. Therefore, I'll skip those places. I'll have no belief in them. If McDonald's comes out or Chick-fil-A comes out with healthy burger, I'll be like, I don't believe you. You don't make healthy burgers. I know you don't. There, there's no chance. It might be healthier than a horrific food item, but it ain't healthy. When you're dating somebody, the second you know, well, this person could pursue their own selfish reward over my best interest because I share no genetic, hopefully you share no genetic <laughs> relations. Hopefully you're not dating your sister or brother, right? But so assuming there you'll go, hmm, blood's fine, is thicker than water. Like more likely that my family will treat me well than someone I date, but not always, but more likely statistic. More likely you'll have a relationship with your kids long after a romantic relationship may break up because we know genetically you're usually not related to who you date and have sex with, but your children, you're at least 50%, hopefully, you're raising someone else's children without knowing, but 50%. And so therefore you'll be like, this is more likely to move away from me, this human, than my own children. And that's why people have longer relationships in general with their own children than they do with their husband or wife or boyfriend or girlfriend. See, it all starts to make sense. All the conspiracy theories. Who's right in the Middle East? Who's right in Eastern Europe right now? You want to know who was right in the Vietnam War? Who was right in the Civil War? Who was right in World War I and World War II? It's not a matter of right or wrong. It's a matter of all these different groups pursuing their own selfish interests. And the more you understand the bad, the more you wake up and go, I get it. You don't always love it, but you get it. And I want to keep you from being like the guy who came to my house who was angry every day as an adult as to why his dad may have left him. That is not a correct, that is not a good way to live. An Amish guy once told me there's three types of people in the world. One makes things happen. One watches things happen. And the third wonders what happened. And he said, Ty, never be the third person. This guy came to my house who was mad at his father. He was wondering, how could my dad possibly do that? I'm like, there's a million reasons your mom and dad could have split up. There's a million reasons. One of them, he might have found out you're not his real son. Happens about 5% of the time. And he didn't want to tell you that, so he just left. And your mom never wanted to reveal it either. That, that's a low probability, but it's not a zero probability. There's many reasons that are more than just a moralistic reason. Like, he was a bad person, your mom was amazing, and that's why he left. There's much more complexity to the human genome, the human way of thinking, the human unconscious and conscious behavioral patterns. Go deeper, my friend, and the whole world will start to make sense to you. If this was helpful, subscribe below, follow me, and leave a comment. We'll talk in the comments. What do you think is the most confusing thing about life? What's the question you still have never seen someone adequately answer? I'll try my best on the next video.